It's the start of growing season on this Markham, Ontario family farm. An eight beehives stand out amid the young strawberry plants. The hives have been brought here, filled with bees not just to pollinate, but also to protect the berries from a fungus called botrytis or gray mold, while keeping the farm certified organic. How does it work? On its way out of the hive, the bee passes through a gray powder that sticks to its legs. Then going about its normal job of pollinating, the bees busily spread the powder from plant to plant, flower to flower. That powder contains a beneficial fungus that mimics the botrytis and protects the plants by blocking the bad fungus from attacking. Instead of spraying where farmers use a lot of water, they use heavy machinery, we don't have any of that. It's a very sustainable delivery system. At the company lab in Mississauga, CEO Ashish Malik says scientists have been looking at using bees like this for decades. His company is the first to test it out. The relatively small tech startup has been publicly traded on the TSX Venture Exchange for five years, and it's been up and down. Despite raising some money, the company is still looking for more to support further testing. I think this has got a tremendous potential, right? I mean, I think this is a, a technology that basically farmers around the world would be interested in evaluating. Malik admits there are limitations and that bees will be just one more tool in a farmer's toolbox. Since this is an all biological system, there is inherently some variability because bees will behave differently based on the temperature, based on the, you know, how much rain there is. They don't like to fly in the rain, just like we don't like being outdoors in the rain either. This technology is still in the testing phase. In order to get government certification, the company needs to prove it's both safe and effective. Right now, there is industry-sponsored research going on, and Agriculture Canada is watching. The technology is really in its, in its infancy, uh, but uh, it has an enormous potential. The question is, how effective of a delivery system is this? Research shows that a single hive with just 300 bees can come in contact with 10 million flowers over one blooming period. But the government is still looking for more data. There's also a few uh, areas that need to be kind of focused on, including, you know, making sure you're not affecting the, the pollinator itself. Research done so far shows it's not having an impact on the bees, though more testing is being done. The company claims their method using a biological compound is a better option than chemicals, some of which are being blamed for the decimation of the bee population. I guess the other alternative was fungicide, you know. Actually. Brittany Passifume spends her together. summers working the family farm, planting, hand weeding and picking. Yeah, exactly. She says working in an organic environment gives her peace of mind about her own health, but, that but that's just be... one selling feature. Not the conventional way of just, you know, spraying on some fungicides and there you go, that's the problem solved. But it definitely is more unique, but it's extremely successful. For the past three years, this has been a company test field. The family says the crops are responding well and yields are up. They are mostly blossoms, so really things turn around in a couple days. A novel idea grabbing the attention of farmers and investors, making the already busy bee busier in an attempt to shake up an industry long dependent on chemicals and pesticides. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Markham, Ontario.